You spoke about um, improving the human condition. And we take our mission as a land-grant institution seriously. And baked into our mission is to improve the human condition because we believe our university's role and responsibility is focused on improving through our research and education programs, mm -hmm. improve the human condition. Uh, you made reference to your engineering um, preparation through the experiences uh, with this young man in your community. Um, I think most of us know you're a chemical engineer uh, why engineering? So, again, you know, it, it comes through what you're exposed to. There were no engineers in my community growing up. Uh, one of my dad's friends worked at an engineering firm, but he was a, he was a draftsman. But that was as close as it, it, it came to knowing what an engineer was. I had no idea what it was in, you know, junior high school. And, and my brother, older brother, said he was going to go study engineering. I said, well, what is that? And I started to understand that engineers systemically solve complex problems, which if you were you know, curious and, 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 and a person who liked to solve problems, which I did, uh, seemed like a pretty interesting field. Uh, I had the good fortune of then going to uh, work at a place called Bell Labs. And how that happened was you know, I was, they introduced computers into my high school. And these were, you know, the old Terax. I mean, these were, you know, really, you know, some of the uh, more, more, you know, primitive machines. But I thought they were absolutely fascinating. And I talked to my teacher at the time. And I said, well, how's this working? Who invented this? He said, oh, it's, it's run by this thing called a transistor. And it's embedded in this place called Bell Laboratories. And I'm like, wow, OK. So I go down to our, our you know, I guess career center and say, is there a Bell Laboratories in Colorado? We looked in this for you and young kids. We used to have these things called phone books. <laughs> um, looked in there, there was a Bell Laboratories in Colorado, so I called them. And you know, I said, hey, I'm a, you know, uh, interested. Do you, have, do you have summer internships? And they said, yeah, if you're between your junior and senior year in college. I was like, terrific. I'm a junior in high school. I'm taking AP classes, <laughs> getting A's in them, same thing. Uh, she, of course, said no. That's why I have a problem with human resources people to this day. But uh, I called her every day for two weeks. Uh, and then she stopped taking a call, of course, after, after the second day. I called her then every Monday for five months. OK? Um, and then she called me back in June. She called. My dad happened to have been home because you know teachers, they're off in the summer. He said, this woman from Bell Labs called. Uh, you, know, you may want to call her back. I called her back. She said, listen, the student from MIT didn't show up. Uh, we have one slot. We don't know you, uh, but why don't you come and interview? Uh, so I put on the one suit that I own, drove out there, and got the job. And I tell people, um, it, cha it changed my life. Um, I ended up working with a mentor, a guy by the name of Vic Hauser, um, who had an undergraduate degree in chemical engineering. He had a PhD in solid state physics which is really, I call it the heart and core of what you think about today of, as uh, semiconductors. Um, and we shared an office about this big, about the size of this stage. And uh, he taught me one of the most valuable lessons that, 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 I, that I carry forward to this day, and I call it the joy of figuring things out. Um, I show up the first day, you know, this intern in that one suit, and thank God you didn't have to wear suits there because I only had one. Um, <laughs> And he says, this is an operational amplifier. It's used in our Merlin systems. It's failing in the field. You know, your job this summer is to figure out why. Uh, he says, you have the full resources of Bell Labs at your disposal. There's a library down the hall. For some of you young people, that's where you actually used to go get information. Um, it was pre-Google. Uh, and um, he said, if you have any questions, let me know. And he turns his chair around. And for a moment, of course, I thought, this is the rudest man I've ever met. <laughs> But what he actually did was enable me. Uh, and so I went down to that library. I looked up what is an you know, operational amplifier. And I wrote down some questions. And I came back and started asking him questions. And he got on the whiteboard and for two hours answered questions in detail. He said, do you have any more questions? I said, nope, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. And what that did was unlock me. And it unlocked what I call my potential to understand how to figure out very complex problems. Uh, into that summer, uh, as a high school student, I won the top prize for summer projects for, against all these students who were college students. And it's because 
he enabled me to figure out, and I always like to use it, that I was enough to figure out these problems. And he wasn't going to give me the answer, but he was going to help me understand my potential. Absolutely. And I think that's one of the most valuable things a teacher, a mentor, a, a business colleague can do is enable you to realize your full potential. And I tell people today in my firm at Vista, my real job is to create a place where people can become their best selves. And what that is is enabling potential. You've got to find people who are motivated, uh, dedicated, uh, have intellectual curiosity, uh, capability, but then create an environment where that can now flourish and that human spirit can now express itself in the context of the business that, that, that we run. So that's how I think about it. And that, that is one of the main reasons I became a chem chemical engineer. Frankly, it was the elegant solutions to complex problems that that, it, that, that discipline provides. Absolutely.